So you went to college for a year, that's right. And, and did you have any college experience? Did you? About a year and a quarter. Did you guys feel like you had missed, like it's sort of, sort of a rite of passage to like go do the whole, you know, drinking game, college kind of thing. Do you ever feel like you missed anything? Or are you completely cool with? I, I definitely miss like going to like a big college, you know, like a really, because my college is pretty small. And, you know, didn't have frats or anything like that. I was just like friends with all the people on the football team and that was sort of my, my core group of friends. Uh, but I, I definitely would have loved to try to go to one of these huge universities that just feels like a, a, a world unto mm -hmm. itself. Like Ohio State or something like yeah, that. Yeah, or like, yeah. God, uh, you know, Alabama or something like that yeah, would be right. insane. Yeah. What about you, John? I had both because I went to Boulder one semester, which was like the more stereotypical collegiate experience. Yeah. yeah. And then I got I went to New School in New York, which is a really small arts yeah. and liberal arts school. So I feel like I got both. The really, best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah. I experienced both before I got out. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, I graduated, and you know, I'm sitting here. So I mean, it worked out well for you. It did you. well for all for of us. For all of us. Hey, hey, well, hey listen. For if you want, you got you can do this. We're <laughs> and I, you know, if you if this is what you want. <laughs> if I was as good yeah. as you at doing it, maybe I would. Oh, but you I'm not, man. You're, you're very nice. Very nice. Um, so with the the end credits of this movie are fantastic. Now you came back to shoot some of that stuff after after it was wrapped. You kind of came back and worked mm -hmm. on a, a little extra stuff. Yeah, we were screening the movie and people really loved the movie, and but we couldn't figure out like we just wanted one more thing to like send yeah. them off with a great yeah. feeling. Yeah. Yeah. We yep. couldn't figure it out, and then one day we were thinking about it and thinking about. It. And then Phil and Chris came in and were like, we got it. We figured it out. And they showed us what they were Weirdly doing. Enough, and we were like, I wasn't sure. Like, I was like, what is it? Like, uh, and then they they just crush it. Yeah. Do you think with that, could you ever do a serious sequel now? I mean, that I think that's kind of the, the joke is that maybe it'd be stretching a little bit to yeah. keep going. Right. <laughs> right. Maybe, maybe this is how you guys go out. I feel yeah. like, yeah. yeah. If we squeak by with this one, then I don't know if we want to like just tempt fate again. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, I, there was a, a bit I read earlier this week that you guys had made a bet about the, the first film. Have you have you upped the stakes for this one? Like if this one make, you know, opens to eighty, I've retired you, from gambling. No more gambling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lost no big, nothing. lost big, and then never ever gonna, ever gonna go back. I lost the farm in Vegas, and uh, I came home with my hat in my hand. Yeah, uh, but obviously uh, it was a joke, and, and never yes. will be collected on. Um, as, long, as long as he's super nice to me forever. My wife had said she's willing to, to pay off. John. Oh, I know that, whoa! Uh, I don't know how to respond to that. Yeah, yeah let's just get. <laughs> <laughs>